What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question one in the math one questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that we're trying to find out which of our answer choices, and I'm showing A and B, but C and D are at the bottom of the page, is the graph of y equals, and then we have the linear factor 4 minus x times the linear factor x plus 2. To do a question like this, when you see it on your test, you'll need to know about linear factors and zeros of your functions. Now, what exactly does that mean? And why did I call these linear factors? Well, any um, function that's made up of two of these things is going to end up looking something like uh, one of those y equals x squared functions. And of course, there's probably some junk after all of that. Um, but the idea is that if we see a number 2 here in this exponent, then we know that there are going to be two places where this function um, has what's called a zero, some number we can plug in and make the whole thing equal zero. And if we look at these linear factors, and we remember that if one of these is zero, then the whole thing is zero, then all we have to do is figure out for 4 minus x and x plus 2, what number would make both of these equal zero. Now this little bit of arithmetic um, is relatively simple compared to everything else in this question. 4 minus what number equals 0? Well, that's just going to be 4. And what number plus 2 equals 0? That will be negative 2. So that tells me that I'm looking for an answer choice that has a 0 at positive 4 and negative 2. And as I look at my answer choices, I can see that in choice A, this parabola is hitting at negative 2. That's one of the ones that I wanted to see, so that one works. And then it comes up and hits at positive 4, so that's the other one I wanted to see. Now, there's other things to consider here, so I'm not going to just assume that choice A is my answer. Instead, I'm going to look at choice B. And I look for a 0 at negative 2, and there's none. Oh, there is one at positive 2, though, but that's not the one we want. And even though there's one at positive 4, uh, this isn't really, this isn't going to work for us. So, I move on and try out choice C and choice D. Let me zoom in on those. For choice C, I have a 0 at negative 2. I don't have 1 at negative 4, and I do have 1 at 0. So once again, just like with choice B, one of my zeros was not in the right place. And as I come to choice D, I see 1 at negative 2. I don't see a 0 at positive 4. I do see a 0 at negative 4, which I don't want. So essentially, in choice D, choice C, and choice B, we had zeros that were not what we were looking for. Only choice A had the zeros of negative 2 and positive 4 that matched the linear factors we started with in the problem of x plus 2, which negative 2 would make equal 0, and then 4 minus x, which the number 4 would make equal 0. So our answer is A.